We are on Heron Island, just off Gladstone, on the southern Great Barrier Reef. I'm a marine biologist and I'm the Deputy Station Manager at the Heron Island Research Station. I did a Bachelor of Marine Studies through the University of Queensland and actually come out to Heron Island as an undergrad student in my third year. So I've made it my life's mission to come back and I have been working out here for the last three years. My work out here is really varied, uh, whether that's from helping researchers collect animals, uh, driving boats or even uh, driving front end loaders. The state of the Southern Great Barrier Reef right now uh, is pretty good. We haven't had uh, significant bleaching or significant disease. We are definitely still under threat and need to do a little bit of work to make sure we keep it just as beautiful as it is right now. So we can make really minimal changes to have a really large impact. Pick up plastic off the beach every time you visit, uh, use reusable coffee cups and uh, stop using straws and that will make a massive difference to our oceans. Now the question I get asked most about the reef is definitely around the colour of the corals on Heron Island. So when you're out snorkelling a lot of the corals will be of brown and kind of green hues and it's not really um, seen in the northern GBR. So when people come out and visit Heron they think it's a little bit sick or it's dying. That's simply not the fact. We're a temperate reef system so we have different species down here and most of those are those brown hues. A fact about the Great Barrier Reef that blows my mind is probably just the size and the magnitude of the actual reef itself. Something that can be seen from space but is made up of millions of little animals I think is really quite phenomenal. In my opinion the best time to visit the reef is definitely coming into winter. I love this time of year. The water is super clear and we've got some of our larger migratory species such as our whales and our manta rays cruising past. I think the future for the Southern Great Barrier Reef uh, looks quite bright. I think we definitely need to make some changes. We need to keep trying, uh, keep doing research, and we will definitely be able to make a difference.